All right, guys, so we've got the new thermostat in. We went with a 180, and we are filling up the, um, the rest of the antifreeze. We do it pre-mixed, it's easier to deal with. Just, I used to not do pre-mixed, but it gets less complicated going solid. Save a little bit of money, buying it straight up, but yeah, it's a little more convenient to get it in. Make sure you get the right mix. So we're, we're gonna get her running. I'm gonna take her out, and we pray that she does not overheat. And it was just a thermostat issue. Um, but we test her over for the first time for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and she starts, she starts overheating. But I'll tell you one thing, this engine's running a heck of a lot better because of the work we did on it, finding a lot of issues with the, not only with the, um, you just, did you just do timing, Joe? No, I, I had to pull the hose out of the way to get to the bolt. Okay. So when you do timing, you take this little hose off. So we're gonna get, let, get let her sit here. I'll get up the temperature. I'm gonna take her around a couple circles. I'm gonna go ahead and clean her up a little bit, get the dust off of her. But she's looking gorgeous. So she she could be heading out of here. No, I do not want any more new issues on this car. Some cars get to a point where you're like, all right, let's just get her out. We don't want to keep finding new issues. So look, 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 look. See, he's dressing up now. You can dress up it. You can dress up his shirt. You can tell him what you're doing with your hair because this is actually very cool. I, when you told, no, seriously, when he told me this, when he's doing his hair, it's really. This is how deep Cliff is. Okay, Cliff. I have no use for that hair. I just it sits and grows on my head. Obviously, it makes a nest. So I figure it can go to use for uh, people with cancer. I can donate it to them so somebody else can have some hair. That is cool. And how, how long is your hair going to get before it gets cut off? So maybe about like shoulder length. All right, so I have to wait till shoulder length for him to be back to the clean cut marine that I know that he is under there. Yeah, <laughs> a nice high top or something. That's very cool. That's very cool that you're doing that. So an, an inspirational uh, from a young man uh, caring about people that are uh, struggling with cancer. I want, I want to, it's, it's deep. And I want to make sure to put that on the video. But we got the we got the pressure tester, and Joe is testing the cap that is on the car. 16 pound cap. It's coming in at about 11 pounds. Whose cap is that? That's the one that was on the car. Did we put it on there? I don't think so. Did we put the, did we put the cap on the car? No. Bad cap. That could also be the heat issue. That's not the heat issue. It's it, part it, of it. It could contribute because yeah. every every pound of pressure raises the boiling point of the coolant three degrees. All right, so there, that's, there's another little tip of wisdom from Joe. <laughs> Once again, showing off the many, 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 many years of experience that he has. <laughs> what are you trying to tell me, Will? And that I appreciate you. you. I was saying that I appreciate you. <laughs> so we're going to change out the cap also. So 180 thermostat and, uh, and the cap. Let's see what happens. And we put a spring in the bottom hose. Put it the... And we, did you, oh, you put it in already? Yeah. I wanted to show it on video again. Well, I started yesterday. See, Joe, we went Joe's, and, and Joe just cranks, starts getting stuff done, and it doesn't always get in video. It's, it's turning into, it's getting, we're getting all better. How can I do it? How can I show him? I can squeeze it or something? Well, yeah, here, here. Here, show, I, I gotta show, I gotta figure out a way to show it being done. Look, see, we're prepping for Oscar to be coming over shortly, so we're cleaning his baby. With pleasure. Car Carlos doesn't want to touch her, which I respect that. He's not allowed to. <laughs> Let's move it on. Okay, here's Howard's own holes. This is the way I took it off. No spring inside. You squeeze it. Water pumps on small block Fords and small block Chevys will literally suck a bottom hose closed. Yeah, and that's caused yeah. vapor lock. And, and, well, it just causes major. It's I mean, bad. There's no water circulation. It just cooks the motor. Bad, bad, bad. Yeah. So, so totally Joe bad. spotted that. It wasn't done on this car, as we've found a number of things that weren't done on this car. And what he did was he, had, he we got a spring. They don't make them anymore with a spring. Nope. So, so yeah. I found one on one of our, our older engines. It's in good shape, and I stuck the spring in a new hose. Boom! You got a rigid bottom and, hose, and you guys. can't squeeze it closed anymore. Yeah. Do you think that they don't do that? They make them anymore because the rubber's harder now That's on the newer the hoses. Is. That's what the claim is. Say, but, say, we are old school here, and we are keeping it real. But, so now you're protected, and you weren't protected before. And that's another detail that's just been added by MustangMedic.com, baby! Com. Sorry. Any, Woo! I got excited. Any hose that gets hot and cold enough times with enough pressure is going to just get weak. Yeah, it's going to get weak. And we can't we can't have weak hoses, can we, Joe? <laughs> get, oh, no, nah, never mind. I'm not <laughs> I got to step off. All right, so uh, thermostat, <laughs> hose has been fixed. Changing out the, the, the uh, cap and test drive. Uh, 
commences.